All right. Hey, everybody, it is me. And uh, today I'm going to be bringing a little bit more of a test video. Last time we ended up testing Sephiroth and his level 140 counterpart against certain teams. And uh, now today we are going to be trying it against a few other teams. So as you can see here, uh, here is the friend Sephiroth. We'll show off his stats. Just in case anybody forgot. And we will also show off my Sephiroth, which has gotten considerably better over the last little bit. As you can see, more HP, more speed, more attack. Uh, this uh, bravery is not up yet. Sorry, it's just hasn't happened yet. It's <clears throat> still have to wait a little bit more for my barracks to get him there, but still should be a pretty good comparison. Now, this also has uh, these resistances. And if we take a look over here, also has O's Human Killer Katana. So trying out some different builds, some different BCs, and seeing how it ends up working out. And we also have Loud over here uh, with these style of stats. Only level 120. Lightning, which today I will be testing her out with that. Um, uh, barrier, I think I missed it in the Amorous video. Apologies for that. And last but not least. Now, I don't have quite as good many good Thunder VCs, but just looking to really see what kind of damage we're putting out between the two Saffroths with without barriers on multiple characters and also seeing what um, shooting power we can potentially uh, will be getting. Fun fact, um, there are three Saffroths on this map now. I just kind of wanted to show this off. This is one of the FF7 Intergrade maps. It's really cool looking, uh, probably one of the best maps we've seen in a good long while. But yeah, just a fun thing to show off. All right, so we'll start by running most of our buffs here. And of course, making sure that our Sephiroth is ready here, both of them. Yes, they can actually pair up. It's not too big of a difference. We will uh, run our buffs. Wait, which one is it? It's this one. Yeah, that's it. I have one under Brawler and one under, uh, not under Brawler right now. Go over here, get Cloud in, start getting Clouds. Yo, buddy, uh, leave us alone. We, we, we're, we're testing something here. Don't make me fight you. All right, so basically all of the things that we are looking for are in place. So now let's take a look. So we have our one Sephiroth here. Uh, we will take a look at what he is capable of dishing out in terms of damage. Now this, I do believe, is our level 140. So in stat battles, we'll just take a look across the board, looking particularly pretty nice. And the type of damage that he can do. And also against lightning. As you can see, that barrier working hard to keep her alive. Other types of stat attacks, this one being much more, uh, just much better. As you can see, we actually have a little bit of a accuracy issue, which is kind of curious. But for the intents and purposes, we're going to really just focus on uh, Sephiroth's AOEs, both that and his limit burst. We also have one other thing that we really want to try. We'll test that out in a minute. Let's just wait, get our second Sephiroth in here. 
And so this one is the one with human killer mine. Now, not fully level 140, but you can see once you add in the human killer, we are getting a pretty nice attack. And um, who believe that? Nope, not that one. This one is another AoE. So you can see the difference. I was kind of convinced early on that I wasn't super big on the actual friend build. I'm much more positive about this. And if he was actually up to a full 120, or dare I say even 140, which hopefully we'll get there within the next week, uh, we would be able to actually just outright kill lightning, which is pretty good. So what we are going to do now, we are going to activate skills, get some more AP and our barriers up. And there was one other thing I was wanting to do here. Now, one thing we are going to do is uh, test a little bit about a very specific corner case. So I was really interested. Now, this is pretty dangerous at a 74% chance of this counter going off and 7,300 attack. Uh, that's another thing that we do need to check. So we're not going to do that. Let's just shoot the other Sephiroth. We got a lot of options for which Sephiroth we want to shoot. Here you can see a little bit lower of a chance, 2700. And as for this Sephiroth, 2100. So Human Killer making a nice little bonus and just giving us a good amount of attack power. Now Lightning does have that barrier, so remember that's one of the things that is working to keep her alive. So we'll just kind of scroll through here, let you see some of the different amounts of attack. So you can get a nice little idea for how kind of comparable different Sephiroth builds are and how much damage extra we're potentially looking at. That preemptive attack having such a high chance of reacting is pretty nice. But we do want to be a little bit careful here. So I think we're going to get our friend Sephiroth to potentially take a swing at us. Here you can see it's much lower because of Leela, I do believe has reaction block in her kit. So this one would be a lot more certain that we could get away with it without getting super hurt. So let's try hitting him a little bit. All right, good luck so far. Get our barrier and our AP generation. And we kind of just want uh, this Sephiroth to take a swing at us. So let's hope that uh, we get that to happen. Meantime, just kind of do some other things while we're waiting. So oh, our other character is getting hurt. So let's just leave them out of this. Although not too threatening, as you can see. All right, so we're going to get the other enemies in. That's fine. We are not worried about that. Uh, we're even going to just take care of some of these enemies right now and just get them out of the way so that they are not bothering us. We get a few more, but nothing we can't handle. Now, we've been hit a couple of different times, and this is good because we want this, because we want to test out certain other attacks. Now, I have my Sephiroth under Brawler to give him some different moves and see what he is capable of doing. Now, one of the things I was particularly interested in, since Sephiroth does have a good amount, I was curious about how much HP he could potentially heal. So we're going to send him over close but not potentially too close there's a squeaking upstairs that's just slightly distracting me
probably not the best idea to actually recast that as it's going to mess up certain things. Get our other Sephiroth out of the way. We don't want him interfering, if at all possible. And hopefully we're not going to get death sentenced. So we're just kind of waiting here. Oh, we're getting pain. It's a little bit painful. Well, we'll just... Girls are having some fighting. We're not too worried about it. Head over here. Do a nice particular extra bit of damage against this big guy over here. I'll just kill that Marlboro because he was kind of rude to us. As you can see, we also have the warp two unit panel, which is a little bit efficient for getting him uh, some extra attacks in. We're going to move our other characters away. We really, really want Zephyroth uh, to get hurt. So we'll just pass a whole bunch of turns. Maybe not just try and attack the enemy quite yet because we want to get hit and hopefully we're not going to get that <laughs> exact thing to happen. All right, well, we may have to just cash out here, unfortunately, but still should give us a good idea. So heading over here, going up against a bomb. And dishing out effect one, which is this one. A good 2,500 HP heal currently, which isn't bad. It's not bad at all. I've been kind of curious about whether or not it would be a viable thing. It doesn't feel like super amazing in terms of a heal, but since some units can get by on it, it's kind of an interesting DPS one. And since a lot of the times fist users or fist defense is not super high, it does give Sephiroth some other options. So I am liking my current idea of going towards a sprawler style as a sub job over the death sentence because it just doesn't feel like death sentence will be that valuable but yeah just a quick little test about Sephiroth as of course once I get mine into 140 hopefully before the end here of the um, friend unit Sephiroth uh, we can really test it out and see how far we can take it thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this a little bit of extra stuff and if there's a elemental team you would like to see this performed against uh, let me know and i will try and do it for you thanks for watching see you next time